You see that guy right there? Seems like he's hit rock bottom. Well, that guy is actually me. Nah, I'm just kidding. That's Watch Games TV. Recently, we got flown all the way out to Germany to see a pro CSGO event live and in person. Now, before you comment down below like, oh my god, this is a dead game, I have two things to say to you. First of all, you just watched a man eat edamame for 20 seconds. What are you doing with your life? And secondly, does this look like a dead game to you? It's all gone, surely. <laughs> Actually, you know what? There were some empty seats right there, so it's, 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 it's dead. It's a dead game. Anyways, like any great travel story, this one started out with an obnoxiously long and drawn-out 16-hour flight time to get from Connecticut, where I live, all the way over to Cologne, Germany. The trip wasn't all that bad. I popped like 12 Xanax on the plane, and I was out like a light. Once we finally landed, we were all really tired, so we got our room keys and we went up to our rooms, where I really, really struggled figuring out how European light switches work. I have an issue, all right? I'm in my hotel room and it's really, really nice. And like MSI hooked it up with some dope goodies that I'll get into in a minute. But like, I don't know how German light switches work, dude. Like, this is what I'm faced with, right? I don't even know if you can see this, but like, how does it work? So after literally five minutes of trial and error, I figured out that the way to get the lights to work was to put the little plastic card into the pleasure crevice that was located on the wall. Once I did this, all my lights worked and I was a really happy camper. Once I got settled in, I looked out my window and realized I had a pretty nice view of Cologne as well as the arena where the CSGO matches were gonna be taking place. And from there, I went directly down to the table to see what cool stuff MSI had left for me in my room. Since our flights got delayed, everybody else had already been there for a day, but for me, Joe, and Watch Games, this was our first day, and we all piled up in a van bright and early, and we went on down to get some combat training. We met up with our trainers, and uh, the fun started there. So we started out with a pretty exhausting warm-up, and then a basic introduction, and then from that point, shit really got wild. They had us jumping off stuff, throwing punches at each other. People even got stabbed, man. On top of it all though, halfway through, these crazy sons of bitches pulled out a real gun and just shot a bullet at us casually. Okay, obviously they didn't shoot a real bullet at us, it was a blank, but it was still like a really crazy experience. From all of that, there was a separate videographer that was there, and he recorded everything, and we ended up making a really cool little combat movie. I'm not going to show you guys the whole thing because it is in other people's vlogs. You can go search it out if you want to. Uh, everybody who was on this trip is going to be linked in the description below, so feel free to check out their channels as well. After the stunt class, we all hopped in another van and we took a ride over to the arena to check out the MSI booth. Now I do have to say, getting an early look at something like this was really, really cool. Uh, and I think I got some pretty decent shots of the computers that were set up there. Bro. Oh shit! Look at these monitors from the back, though, yeah, man. Dude, that's the one they sent me. Yeah, that, but that's a crazy panorama with three of them. Yeah. Damn! I wish you guys could see this in person. So after our booth tour, we went out to dinner with some of the executives of MSI, and then we went back to the hotel and got some sleep. Now the next morning was the first actual day of the event. It was absolutely insane. Now this was my first time out of the country, and my first time at any sort of event or convention, anything similar to this. So I went in with absolutely no expectations. I was absolutely blown away by the turnout. Now MSI provided us with our own private lounge to watch the matches, and I have to say, the view was pretty sweet. In our lounge, MSI had also put together a computer setup for us, which I thought was pretty neat. On top of that, we got to mess around with the motherboards that they actually use on the pro stage, and I thought that that was pretty cool. The one on the left is the Z370 Pro carbon board, and the whole thing is carbon fiber with RGB lights all throughout it. The one on the right was the B360, and that's the more consumer grade one. But in all honesty, I'm going to stick with the carbon fiber one, and the second I got back to the States, I ordered nine of them, so that's a thing. 
Anyways, the next couple days I didn't really record that much because there were matches going on, but on the second to last day of the event, I actually did a live stream in the MSI booth with Matt CS, and that was a crazy experience. Uh, for anyone that cares, the crazy RGB laptops we were using are the GE73 Raiders, but that's not really the point. The point is, I absolutely destroyed Matt CS in our 1v1. In all honesty though, he's a more movement based player, so he's really used to his own controls, whereas I just kind of run and gun and I'm not good at the game anyways, so it was really not that hard for me to adjust to the different setup. But I do have to say that while I was playing on the laptop, it was a really, really nice experience. And MSI, if you're watching this, you should really send me one of those laptops, thanks. As insane as that live stream was, being in front of a live audience and all, it was so much cooler to me on the last day of the event to see the grand finals live in person. I've always watched them live and I never really imagined how much different it really is to be there in person, seeing everything unfold. And I do have to say, the crowd was absolutely electric when Navi won the tournament. And as much as we were all rooting for big, I am really, really happy that I was there to record this and there to experience it live because it was truly one of the craziest experiences of my life. All in all, I met some amazing people, we had some amazing food, and we had a great time at the event. I'd just like to take this time to give a huge thank you to MSI for flying us all out there and giving us the opportunity to experience something like this because it truly boggles my mind that I'm at the point where I'm able to start traveling the world and meeting all these great people just from making videos on the internet. In the description below, guys, I will have a link. I really hope you guys will click it for me. It'll bring you to the MSI website. You can check out their products. And even if you don't buy anything, just click that link helps me out a ton. I also want to thank you guys because without you supporting me and watching my videos, none of this would even be possible. So thank you so much for watching each and every video that I upload. This is all thanks to you guys. My regular uploads will continue from this point forward and I hope you guys all have a great day.